Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2015 Featherlight three horse bumper pull. So nice little setup on this trailer that we'll go ahead and get started showing you. So you got your two and five sixteenths inch ball, manual crank jack, safety chains, so since this is a used trailer, the previous owner, they did install the sway bars on it. And so those do come with the trailer. And that way, if you need a little bit more stability, you can easily do so. I currently have it plugged into our battery pack so you can see how the lights operate on this unit. So in order to run the lights, you will have to be plugged into an external battery source, whether it's your tow vehicle or we get a battery installed on here for you. Exterior color on this one is gonna be white. And then right here on the curb side of the trailer, we've got our tack room entrance. So coming up here into the tack room right away, you'll see our three tier saddle rack. So plenty of saddle space there. And this one's pretty neat because you do have that collapsible saddle rack in the back of the trailer. So if you wanted to, you could move this saddle tree back to the back of the trailer too. Down below uh, on this side, you do have your tire, your spare tire. And then above the spare tire, you do have some bridle hooks up there. So get your stuff off the floor, out of the way. You know, if you're looking for additional bridle hooks as well, we can always get those installed in this trailer too. Over on that partition wall, you do have a um, brush box. So right now there's currently the camera system set up in there. So this one does have a camera system on it. So we'd have to, you know, get it hooked up to your vehicle and make sure everything operates and works how it should be and stuff. So nice little tack room on the front on this one. So I'm coming over here to the hip side of the trailer. We've got our bus windows that open up halfway. So it's really nice to be able to get those unlocked from the inside. And then as you're traveling, you'll be able to pick and choose how much airflow you want for those animals in the back. Um, I always leave mine unlocked and then as I'm going, you know, down the road early in the morning, like this morning, you can kind of see my breath right now. So it, I would want them closed up, maybe just a little bit of ventilation. But then as it warms up and the day progresses, I might want to open them up a little bit more. And if I'm still traveling with horses on board, I don't want to be taking horses off to open windows. So being able to open those up from the inside and then slide them open just comes in handy big time. You got two ties on this side. And then our Featherlight trailers, they're gonna be in all aluminum construction on this one. And then used trailers, when we get used trailers in here at TransWest, unless we say otherwise, we are gonna put them through our shop. So through our shop, we'll check the brakes and the bearings. We'll repack and replace the brakes if needed. If the tires are over five years, worn or non-matching, we'll replace all tires on them. Then we go ahead and do a wheel alignment, make sure they're hauling straight and tracking behind the tow vehicle correctly. We go through all your windows and door latches, make sure all that's operating how it should be. Your dividers, make sure those are closing how they should be. You know, just a really good once over on the trailer and get it to like new condition. And that way the next owner and next user can use it with ease. So here on the rear, you've got your 6040 door opening. On this left-hand side, you'll see that's where that collapsible saddle or collapsible attack room on the rear is at. So that folds down. All you gotta do is pull these two pins and pushes over to the side. And that opens this back end up a lot more. So if you've got younger horses or horses that are not too comfortable with loading in a trailer yet, and you wanna get this opened up bigger, you can do so with ease. You'll notice the camera that we've got up top there. So backup camera, be able to get you backed into places a lot easier too. And then hopping up here into the trailer, we've got our two dividers and they are spring loaded. So they're going to automatically want to push back to that right or that left hand side or driver side of the trailer. And they're very solid dividers, all aluminum. We could easily get pads put on these if you wanted pads on your dividers. So you've got two of them right here and then up you'll see your little hooks. So multi-use for these hooks. We could do a triangle feed bag. You can use them to tie. I mean, there's lots of uses and lots of different uh, options you can do with having those five hooks in these stalls here. Above each, um, well, <laughs> above each horse, sorry, can't think of words. 
Uh, you will have a roof vent, so those push forward and they push back. You push them forward, that'll help bring that air in. Push them back, help dr drag that air back out, and just keep the air flow going through the trailer and over the horses' heads and backs. So I'm coming over here to the head side of the trailer. We've got our drop downs on all three stalls, and then you have an escape door on that front stall as well. So if you've got a horse that you need someone to shut you in behind and then jump out the escape door, you could easily do so with having that. There's just a lot of different options having that escape door on that first stall and the use you could do. So then on these windows, you do have the jail bars that come down as well. So jail bars that come down, that's a big one for me, especially if you're hauling long distances. So I want to be able to check on my horses, offer them some feed, offer them water, you know, all of that stuff. And being able to bring these jail bars down and just do it from the outside of the trailer instead of having to unload at a truck stop or something and risk a horse getting loose, um, that's a big one for me. I'd rather keep them enclosed, keep them where they're safe, and I know nothing's going to happen to them. So when they pop back up, and then on these windows, you do have the bus window that opens up as well. So if you wanted just a little bit of airflow, not too much, um, not the whole window open, you could easily pick and choose how much airflow you want with just moving that over. So then on this escape door here, escape door shuts, and then you have that drop down window in the escape door as well. So this trailer, we're gonna be sitting at six feet, six inches wide. We're sitting at seven feet tall. And then we have an on the floor length of 16 feet. Empty weight on this one's gonna be 3,300 pounds. So, you know, we always say double check your tow rating, just always double check it. But most, li most times, most likely, you know, your bigger SUVs, smaller pickups, vehicles like that are gonna be easy or be able to easily tow this. But always double check your tow rating and make sure that you're not getting too much, you know, horse before the cart or whatever you want to call it. Um, but stock number we've got on this one is 5U231143. And that's 5U231143. It's a 2015 Featherlight three horse bumper pull. We just got into our inventory more recently. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot, on our website, you want us to keep an eye out for you and let you know if we get something in that you're looking for, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email to Morgan, that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transos.com. If you click the link below, it'll take you to this trailer on our webpage, and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.